I know guys what it is right now, uh, but no, it's not going to be my topic. I'm not going to talk about gays, lesbians, and other LGBT uh, members of, of this community. Um, I'm going to talk about a little bit different thing. Um, you know, that was a uh, uh, video of Eurovision. Uh, it, it was, it's a very popular um, contest in Europe. Uh, people go from wherever countries in Europe, they sing the best songs, and they select the best singer uh, from the whole Europe. Actually, Russia and Ukraine, they participate in this event as well, even though they, don't European, they are not European Union. So, but this year, this guy, he won this uh, event. And this just blown up the internet. Everybody started to talk about this, even that people who never seen this, events before who never uh, even participated, never voted, never does, uh, done anything related to this event. But people start to say, how come, how could he win? We, we, we couldn't let it go like that. And uh, even my friend who I consider very liberal and open-minded guy, he said, he watched just half of the video and he said, um, you know, I'm not so open and I feel like he cannot win. He, he shouldn't win. And ask him why. He said, uh, because I've heard a lot of uh, good songs, better songs, and better voice than he had. And I said, okay, wait a minute, but have you heard other participants in this show, like how they were singing or something? And he said, no. And I understood, even if such people, like who consider them, uh, themselves as liberal, they decide in this way, how can people be objective, people objective, uh, who are considered the same as con conservative or neutral? So uh, my topic today is going to be about objectiveness. I want to say that objectivity, and that objective decisions are the best for you and for others. That's what I want to prove today. And you see the problem that a lot of people, they're very subjective in their mind. And uh, the problem is that they make decisions being subjective in this state of mind. And uh, even worse, they're trying to hide it. And they try to make even uh, seems like uh, logical arguments, seems like rational arguments. But the problem is that these reasons, these arguments, they're artificial, they're not real. Basically, uh, you just create them in order to justify some of your, some of your feelings. But it doesn't have anything uh, with reality. It doesn't connect with reality at all. So it sounds paradoxical, but really objective decisions are the best even for you, for yourself. Uh, and today I'll talk about what does it mean to be objective uh, and what is the benefits of being objective. And of course, uh, some uh, uh, relati relativeness between subjectiveness and objectiveness. Uh, so, you see, the root of such problems is discrimination, stereotypes, uh, intolerance, even connected with Elona's topic. It's uh, our subjective kind of thoughts. Uh, when we don't see other points of and uh, first of all, to uh, explain you the meaning of uh, what, 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 what does it mean being objective, I'll uh, go to Oxford, uh, Oxford Dictionary, which I like, you know already. So Oxford Dictionary say that objective is not influenced by personal feelings, interpretations, or prejudice, based on facts, and, and uh, it means unbiased as well. So what does it mean subjective, being subjective? It's when it's something that exists in the mind belonging to the thinking subject rather than to the object of thought. Let me simplify. Basically, when you feel something, it's your feeling. You created this. It's not the person who is in front of you. It's just something that's related to you. And you're trying to put this expression to other person, which maybe it's not even connected to this person. This person is not this. It's not your disgust. It's not your fear. It's not your anger. It's he separate from you. It's just your feelings. You create them. Paul Bloom, which is uh, this guy, uh, he's professor of Yale University, uh, and he wrote the book which called uh, Morality of uh, Just Babies, The Origin of Evil and Good. Uh, he argues that, how, what does it mean to be objective? He said that being objective, when we say be objective, what do, what do we mean? Usually we mean numerous things, but the measure of them. It's like be an emotional, not getting agitated or distressed in any way. Or see things as they are. Or be neutral, understanding both points of view. Basically, he says, like, if you have one piece of information, you need to find second one. Uh, 
uh, if you feel anger, disgust, uh, I don't know, fear, uh, other emotions, you need to calm down first and after that decide. Because in this state of mind, you cannot make really rational and best decision for you and for others. Uh, so what is the benefit of being objective, basically? Uh, benefit of uh, being objective is simple. Just think, what is the difference between human beings as we are and animals? As we see, like, there are not a lot. <laughs> if you stay like dog, you can be like dog. So, but the, the problem, the difference is for me. I think not just that we use spoons or forks when we, when we eat and animals don't. The problem is uh, the difference that uh, we have consciousness and we have ability to rational thinking when we put our emotions aside. Uh, so, and when you think rationally, you choose the best things for you. Uh, you're based on facts when you decide, not on the commercials or your stereotypes. Uh, basically, if you're an employer and you, you have your business and you need uh, some employee to the job, uh, if you be objective, uh, you'll check him. You'll check his skills, his abilities, uh, his, uh, I don't know, performance, and you'll select the best one. Not because you like or don't like him. You, you'll you will get him because he is the best. And this is gonna be the best decision. Uh, for, and of course you will see advantages and disadvantages. You'll, uh, and what is good reason to be objective in democratic co uh, democratical countries especially? You will be less likely discriminative and more likely to be fair. Uh, and of course, if, you, if you're objective, uh, you more likely to be closer to the truth. Yeah, I don't say that it's true, uh, that you just will find true everywhere, truth everywhere, no, but you will be closer to this. Uh, many cases, for example, when guys just uh, marry girl, girls, just because um, they're driven by feelings, they're driven by beauty of girl, for example. And I don't say that it's bad, but at some kind, after two years of marriage, they decide like, come on, I cannot stand this person. And they harm themselves, they harm this person. Why? They say, uh, people say that they lost their love. No, they just were driven by emotions and, not, and they didn't rationally think that this person does a suit you. Uh, and this for first two years, emotions disappear, but you see this person who's suffering and you see yourself who's suffering. Uh, so, I want to say that especially in life uh, important decisions and in decisions which affect somebody else, need to be as possible, uh, objective as possible as it's, uh, oh, my, oh my God, what I said. Anyway, you need to be objective. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you need to calm down if you feel anger or fear or disgust, like, I don't know, or something that you felt in this situation. Nothing to decide. Uh, you, you need more information in order to decide. Maybe it's really the best thing. As for me, that beer uh, doesn't suit to that dress. But does it affect his voice or his ability to think? I don't think so. So basically guys, uh, it's just one example which was really extreme. But in our life, we usually being very subjective, which affects our life. And what is even more important, our life of others. So be objective.